Alright, it's Henry again, and this is the unboxing video of the Master Grade Tall Geese, or more specifically, the Tall Geese EW. So you can see this is the Endless Waltz version, even though Tall Geese wasn't in Endless Waltz. This is the uh, slight redesign for Tall Geese featured in the Glory of the Losers manga. So, it's pretty much the same as the Tall Geese TV version. You've just got some slight uh, design changes and then a few color changes as well. This kit came out in January of 2013. And here on the side of the box we see a front and back shot of the painted and completed kit. As well as some of the features, showing off the inner frame there, dauber gun, thrusters, uh, thrusters on the back skirts, weapons, decals, cockpit, little tiny Zex figure. Dauber gun's actually got a spring mechanism, and we'll see that later. There's the top of the box, here on the side, an action pose on an action base. And here's the original illustration. Uh, that this Tall Geese design came from. In fact, all of the Oz mobile suits in here are slight redesigns of their TV versions. And personally, I really, really like this image. This was my desktop wallpaper for quite a while. And then some advertisements for Glory of the Losers and Frozen Teardrop. And this kit retails for 3,800 Japanese yen. So, let's see what we've got in here. First off, we're going to get a runner of yellow, red, and clear parts. Uh, the original Tall Geese only had yellow on the chest vents and the side of the head, but that was kind of an off yellowish color, but whatever. A lot more yellow on this version. We get three clear parts. The uh, visor eyes for Tall Geese, the camera that's going to go up under the faceplate, and we've got a little sight uh, for the dauber gun. Just got two red parts for the uh, crest on top of the head. And as you can see, we get two clear pink curved beam sabers. The curved one's just like on Wing Gundam Verka. Next up is a runner of medium gray parts and all inner frame stuff. Can't really identify it, but it looks mostly like stuff for the legs, maybe some arm parts as well. Couple of thrusters down here. Get a runner of white parts for the legs, arms, a little fin that goes on the thruster pods, and our decals here. We get a runner of clear stickers and a, a runner sheet of clear stickers, sheet of dry transfer decals, and as you can see, a sheet of foil stickers. Next up, we're going to get a small runner of light gray parts. This is a lighter gray than uh, the inner frame parts. Looks like the missiles on the chest, some of the little circular thingies that go on the ankles, and just a few other miscellaneous parts. Behind that is a runner of black parts, which is actually a very, 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 very dark blue. Got parts for the shoulder armor, the feet, the little connectors for the dauber gun and the shield, and the hands as well. Flip that over and we've got a runner of white parts for the shield, uh, the head there, so you can see a little bit of inner detail on the head, two little Zex figures, parts for the torso, shoulder armor which is all molded in one piece, as you can see with the exception of the yellow parts obviously, and then the back and side skirts. Next up is a runner of dauber gun and inner frame parts. Looks like the inner frame for the side skirts. The rest of all this is the dauber gun, all molded in gray. Flip that over. We got some inner frame parts for the thruster pods on the back. And a teeny, teeny, tiny little spring. That's going to go inside the dauber gun. We'll see more of that in the review. More inner frame parts, looks like stuff for the legs, torso, 
of the back skirts, I believe. And there's actually a runner of poly caps behind that. It's kind of hard to see. Then we have a runner. These might look white on camera, but they're actually a very, very light gray. Uh, not pure white like the other parts we just saw a minute ago. Parts for back skirts, thruster pods, uh, skirt armor, lower torso here. Basically all the stuff that was black on the Tall Geese TV version is now light, light gray. So not very much black on this kit compared to the TV version of Tall Geese. Anyway, one more runner of pure white parts. Again, with the legs, there's the thighs there. And another runner of inner frame parts. This time we got a piece for the shield, some parts for the waist section and the hips and the torso. And that does it. Take a quick look at the manual. Front of the manual, pretty much the same as the front of the box. Got a little bit of info over here on Gundam Wing and Tall Geese and Zex. And just your basic Gunpla assembly info here. Parts run down. They start us off building the torso and move on to the arms, then the legs. Of course, in the middle, we get a nice color spreadsheet showing off some Photoshop work of the Master Grade Tall Geese in action. Fighting Wing Gundam Verka or Wing Gundam EW, whichever one you choose to call it. More ads for Gundam Wing Manga. Here are some features of the kit. Pretty much the same stuff we saw on the side of the box. And we continue on building the legs and the waist and the thruster pods and the weapons. And we finish off with decals. On the back, we get a short little painting guide. All the colors you'll need to paint the kit accurately. Showing how your kit looks better panel lined and a small painting guide for the 1 to 100 scale figure of Zex Marquis. So, that about does it for the unboxing video of Master Grade Tall Geese EW. And with that, I'll see you guys next time.